This art lesson is on an artwork of a mummy from ancient Egypt. So the first thing you always do is your border, which goes all the way around the edge. Once you've done that, the first thing we're going to do is our eyes. So two hills and a dip underneath the hill, and then two lines that are curved, like a cut for cat and a back to front cut for cat. And then we're just going to put a line out the side for our mummy's sort of makeup. And then we're going to do the eyebrows. So just a hill on the top and you double that line. So do that twice. And then two lines from the eyebrows to the inside of the eyes. And then we're gonna do three wiggles at the bottom for the nose. There we go. Okay, on the inside of the eyes, what we're gonna do is a reflection. So the circle at the top and then a black circle in the middle which we color in and that's our pupil. So one up the top and then one in the middle and the middle one gets colored in. Okay, from the nose, we're gonna do two lines down and then we're gonna do lips. So I'm gonna do two bumps here and a curve underneath. And now I'm going to do my cheek, my chin and my cheek. So start basically in line with the eyes and come down and around under your mouth and then two ears with a bit of a hook in there another one over this side with a bit of a hook all right now a line goes straight across the top from ear to ear and then we're going to do a line that goes up across and back down it's basically the shape of a rectangle and then within that we're going to do more rectangles uh, they sort of look like the keys on a piano uh, straight across the top okay from his chin we're going to do two lines down with a circle at the bottom I'm going to do some stripes going sideways through here and then in every second one I'm going to do diagonal lines going the other way. It's a bit hard to explain but have a look nice and closely and see if you can do that. Okay from his cheeks two lines down on either side and then join it together at the bottom. We're going to use them for something in a minute. From the top of his hat draw a diagonal line down towards the side of your page and then what we're going to do down here is we're going to go in, down and across. Again, it's a bit hard to explain, but if you look nice and carefully, you should be able to figure that out, the, the shape that I've used there. Double that line up down the bottom, and then I'm going to put some stripes in the very bottom line down there. Okay, now I'm going to put some stripes which go from those lines we drew from his cheeks before all the way across to the side of our page, all the way up to the very, very top. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You'll notice that I'm using black to draw. That's uh, so that we can see our colors nice and brightly when we paint. It doesn't have to be black that you choose, but as long as it's a nice dark color. Okay, now I'm ready for painting. So I'm gonna do his face gold, because uh, we know that they chose a lot of golden things uh, in ancient Egypt and the way I've got that color is I've mixed yellow with a little bit of brown um, and that will give you your lovely golden color so I'm just going to do every second shape so you can see I'm skipping um, some bits along here so every I'm going to choose a different color in a minute to paint those sec sections so now I'm going to do my dark blue in the sections I've left white. And the way I get dark blue is I mix my blue with a tiny weeny bit of black. If you put too much black, it will turn black. So just a little bit of black with your blue. And make sure you've got lots of water on your brush. And when you mix your colors in your paints, make sure you go round and round in circles on your color so you get a nice strong color. If it's too watery, then it will be a bit of a clear color. So you want a nice strong color. So I've chosen red for my background here and looking good. There we go, nearly finished painting. And there is my artwork of a mummy from ancient Egypt.